From the bottom of YouTube, it's Nomad News, Line Screw 1 Edition. Now, I know what you guys are all thinking. Hey, why is Line Screw 1 doing an episode of Nomad News? Don't worry. I talked to him months ago. He's cool with it. So we're going to have a little bit of fun. And uh, unlike the rest of us uh, retired people or nomads, he's probably working for a living, that crooked nanny. Damn you, crooked nanny. Why do you have to work for a living? Why can't you just give us more episodes of what we want to see? So let's get to it. First of all, Elvis. Yeah, Elvis. Aside from him using very bad gay metaphor for the guy backing into his unit. The guy's gonna back up into it. Uh, it seems like he's on the verge of being homeless with the Lisa Marie being out of service. He hasn't done an update in uh, about a day and a half, so the jury is out if he's going to be uh, truly a fat man on a little bike. Fat man on a little bike He's trying just to live his life Maybe living on that little bike. It's, uh, I don't know what he'd do without the uh, Greasy Marie to sleep in, especially with those uh, quality renovations that he's been doing. So Elvis, we wish you the best. Hope things work out for you. Now the big nomad news of the week is Nomadic Fanatic, Living Free and Wanderlust Estate have had to cancel their meetup at Rife Lake in Washington State simply because some troll had to uh, rat them out and then they had to uh, post a bond, get porta potties, garbage collection, and all this crap if they're going to do it, which uh, of course uh, completely destroyed the plans. Well, all I can say is um, shame on you because uh, they didn't deserve it, especially the people that wanted to come visit and hang out. They definitely didn't deserve it. So, hey, hey, Charles Manson doesn't get this much attention. <laughs> And moving on to Jimmy the Hobo. Boy, he's been traveling more than a Canadian goose on crack cocaine. Oh, Jimmy. You know, one week he's in Hawaii, the next week he's in LA, and then suddenly he's in England. I mean, that, uh, that hobo, he knows how to style. He picks nice places that I like to travel to. So, hey, Jimmy the Hobo. You're not really a hobo if you can uh, afford that kind of travel budget. So, uh, kudos to you. And... Uh, I guess the people that hate you just uh, don't have your money and don't have a password, I guess. So you keep on doing it, Jimmy. You're the king of hobos now, I think. And last but not least, three dogs camping. Where the hell are you? Now, I do consider them my friends, so I do have an inside scoop, which I'm not going to share with you because we're all dying to hear the rest of the story. But I will say that they are back in New Hampshire, and they gave up the nomad camping stuff, and they've got a new plan and a new strategy, and I want them to share it with you because I know they're going to watch this video. So I know you're busy working there, Steve, but uh, you owe us a video. So I gave everybody a little teaser. The rest is up to you. So that's about it from here, folks. I'm going to turn this back over to Crook and Andy, and maybe they can do a video soon. Over and out. Keep your wheels on the ground, folks.